Oh, you're right, Marshall. How you doing? Very, very well. Pleasure serving I with you. I have missed you, I have, mate. Yeah, I bet you have, mate. All right. Hands in the air like you just don't care. What are you doing in the PD station? Who the hell is this? Excuse me. Jesus, what the? What Hands the? in the air, sir. What the? Turn around doing for it? me, please. State who I'm you are. For an interview. Come for an interview. No. Right, unfortunately, this is not the job centre. You're going to be under arrest for trespassing, okay, sir? Thank you very right. much. Just you do not have to say anything, but may have your defence like something that you are later questioned on in court. Yeah. Actually, we're not going to arrest him. I can't unlock yeah, the door. Just... <laughs> right, come here, mate. Come outside. Right. Take your handcuffs. Just wait on the chair on the right, yeah? Clulu, two of the nine, mate. Uh, Clawgill, two of the eight. Tristan Sword, two of the eight months as well. Turnbull, two of the primer, two of the bits, mate. Dan, two of the. Oh, I'm absolutely fantastic, Marshall. You know, I had minimum sleep last night because I was what? just too excited to start this new promotion, start the new role in the force that I have, and just you know be able to protect the city even more than I already have. Yep. What? So are you here for? The Trojan application results. The Trojan application results? Yeah, the armed police one. Is that what it was? I think you know what it was, Marshall. Okay. And I think we both know, let's not beat around the bush here. Let's get straight to the point. Show me where my new locker is. Show me where my new uniform is. Let's get this show on the road. Listen. It hurts me to say this. Okay. But I'm going to turn this into joy. Don't take it negative, okay? Don't take it what, sorry? Don't take it negative. <sighs> I have been informed myself, as me, I'm not in charge of myself, okay? Yeah. I'm goal command, so I overview all the divisions itself. Yeah, so you're the one that makes the decision. No, no, I don't. No, not me. Oh, who does? I'm, I'm a Trojan officer, I'm armed, but because I'm yeah. goal command, I overview it all, you know what I mean? Right, so okay. So it be... It'd be the other Trojan lot that have come to the decision like, as a group. They've said the only reason your application has been denied. Who's this? Is sorry. Because... Whoa. Sorry. Who, who said this? The Trojan itself, like the specialism, the command. Yeah, Dev. Did you say his name was? No, no, no. Trojan. What's... Trojan. Oh, Who's Trojan? No, no. I know. I know what Trojan is. Who makes the decisions, Marshall? So it'd be Lottie. Lottie. Uh, Larry. 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 Yeah, that's it pretty much at the moment. All right, no worries. Shanice and stuff like that. They've said the only reason you've been denied is because you're a PPC. But... Because I'm overqualified. But listen, from me working with you yesterday... Yeah. Seeing your hard work with the negotiation that you've done... Yeah. When you put your mind to policing and actually put effort in, you do an amazing job. Thank yes, you. you do impound cars that are parked legally. But you were improving that, okay? Absolutely. So today, I'm going to tell you this today. If you put in a good shift and you put your 10 out of 10 effort into it and yeah. hard work, I can promote you to be PC, to which then no. you can... Have... What? No. What do you mean, no? Absolutely not, right? What? No, I'm standing on business, right? I'm going to stand oh. there and I'm going to stand on business. I, when oh. I put my mind to it, I'm better than this whole fucking force, right? Maybe not the higher-ups, like yourself, but I'm better than every cop in this fucking station because they're all absolutely fucking dog shit, right? Let's clear that up very quickly, Marshall. They're all oh, okay. absolute fucking ass, right? And I've gone to the top of a crane, right? And I've assisted an officer... Right, who stood there on the end of the crane. I've got a guy threatening to jump with an handgun. I've negotiated him to put the gun down and jump and come off the crane very, so, very, very safely. And you're standing there telling me that I might get promoted to a PC. Well, you can shove your PC up your ass, mate, because I guarantee well, you now. Where can I go from here? Where can I go from here? The sky's the limit, mate. I, minimum, at minimum, at minimum, can you yeah. go through the ranking system, please? Yeah, PPC, yep. PC, Sergeant, Inspector, Chief Inspector. Right, at the Yo. very minimum, I should be Sergeant. You, you think you should be Sergeant, yeah? That's not even debatable. Cool. This is How off the record, isn't it, Marshall? This is yeah. off the record, yeah? Every single cop in this station is fucking ass. Okay, so listen, I will go out my way, but I've seen your hard work. Yeah, you've seen done. it. More than so anyone else. I will else. go up my way. Yeah, I will go up my way 
and speak to Gold Command and tell them what I've seen that you've negotiated against someone with a firearm. But why have we not said that already? We are heading towards the impound. That is the closest I've been the only Gold Command in. Two males, one in a suitable. Right, carry so on. So what I'll do is I will go and um, sit down later on. Yeah. And speak to them about your right. hard work. And is there any Gold Command on right now? Just myself. Fucking gold, gold command. It. Fucking hell. Gold fucking dust by the sounds of things. Where are they? Fucking can never find them. Hello? So, I'll... Yeah, so I'll, I'll do that for you, okay? Right, and can I have, um... A different uniform and, um... A car, please? Because I feel like it's just too... It's too easy. Have you got a taser? See, you've got a taser and your PPC. So you're trusted to have a taser. Normally, PPC... Trusted to have a taser. taser? Yeah. Mate, have you ever had someone ask you for a chewing gum? You go to pull the chewing gum and it electric shocks you. That's fucking why. Okay. Don't fucking do anything, mate. Fuck this shit. Adam. Adam. What? Calm down. No, that's not bullshit. No, you're taking it out of me now. No, no, I'm sorry, Marshall, I've been told right? But you witnessed. No, they no, I haven't got the balls to tell you, that's why. No, 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 I'm sorry, Marshall, right? But you witnessed what I'm capable of yesterday when I put my yes. mind to it. And I want you to stand there with full chest and say, when I put my mind to it, I am not one of the one of the best officers on the force. No, when you put your mind to it and you do good policing, you are amazing at your job. Thank you. And I told you that. Yeah, absolutely. So how can you have the nerve to sit there? Stand there, sorry, and say, oh, I'm only going to promote you to a PC. PC? Am I, am I, is that all I am to you, a PC? Listen, I can't give you firearms. Your PPC, I can't Right, I'm not asked you. about a firearm. But I don't care. Be a sergeant. No. Right, does a, fire, does a sergeant carry a firearm? No. Right then, there we go. Forget the firearm, forget the pistols, and forget the trilogy or whatever the fuck I was trying to join yesterday. Not asked about it. What I want is just a bit of respect. From the force. And I'm not having Tweedle D and Tweedle Dickhead who was sat here the other day speak to me like shit because I'm a PCC, right? I'm better than both of them officers that were fucking sat there the other day because they're absolute asses. One of them has got a part in that wouldn't even be allowed in certain parts of the world because it was very, Adam, very, Adam, very weird. Adam. Yeah? Put 10 out of 10 effort in today and I will speak to them about 10 out of 10. Unlock that fucking door. I'll give you 10 out of 10. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, right, mate, you're here for an interview? Yeah. Follow me. Take a seat, please. Take it away, Marshall. I'll just be overlooking this interview. I, I, I'll get no, no, where I need to. No, go on, go on, go on. You, you do no, your no, I'm only a PCC. No, no, it's fine. I, I trust you. Go on. Yeah, you might you might do, but I just don't feel comfortable seeing as I'm out just a PCC and just learning. Listen. You see, oh, go ahead. You can't force me to do it, huh? You can't force me to to, to do it. No, I'm not forcing it. <laughs> Marcy, can you please give it a try? I will help you if you need help with certain things. Are you sure? Hundred percent. I'm here. So what's your happen here then? Sorry. Don't apologise, mate. So what's going to happen here? I'm going to give another outstanding interview and then it's going to just be brushed to the side until one of the gold dusts want to come on on duty and fucking say hello and pop the red through the window. Is that what it's going to happen? So I'll wait, I'll no. wait for a week, shall I? No, no, no. Just get, take it away. Go on. I'm watching. This is going on your record. I'm looking at this and adding more points onto your record. <clears throat> Name, please, sir. Zane Kane. Zane Kane. And just a quick question, Zane. Have you got a criminal record? Nope. Which officer was it that said you could come for an interview? Larry. And Larry, of course, isn't here. No worries. And how are you spelling Zane, sir? Z-A-I-N. Zane Kane. No worries. Yep. Okay, tell me, tell me your date of birth, please, sir. 26th of October 2000. And how old does that make you, sir? 24. Correct. Okay, and have you got a driving license? Uh, yes. Okay, no worries. And just wait for my colleague here to just make sure he's ready. 
So what is it that brings you into the uh, to the police force? What is it that makes you want to you know feel as though you want to protect and serve? Uh, you know, my family's full of bunch of crime, and I want to be the odd one out. Your family's got crime history, does it? Yeah. What sort of history? Uh, my brother, he, you know, robbed a lot of banks, stores, blah blah blah. The list goes on. Hard earned criminal. So, I'd like you to name three strengths that you think you could bring to the police force. Excellent driver. Yeah. You know, I make smart decisions. Yeah. And, you know, overall, I take care of everyone's safety. Okay. And so, I've asked for three strengths, and you've said excellent driver. And what, 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 are the, what, what were the other two, sorry? I make smart decisions. Decision making, yep. And I care about everyone's safety. And caring about people's safety. Is that a strength to you, is it, Zane? To me, yeah. Yeah. Well, let me just ask, let me just tell you something, Zane. I think they're three fucking common senses, mate. Okay, if you're trying to join a police force without them three, you ain't going to last fucking long. So we'll reverse the question, shall we? Give me three weaknesses, Zane, that you feel as though you could learn from and, you know, maybe develop whilst you're in the force. Sorry, could you repeat that again? I couldn't hear you properly. Yeah, of course I can. Repeat that again. I'm going to repeat it again. <clears throat> can I hear you? I've got a question. What's three weaknesses that you think you need to improve on? Okay. Great okay. question, Marshall. There we go. I'm a bit hot-headed. Um, okay. I tend to not give criminals or, you know, people that annoy me, enough time to speak. Okay. And uh, I have anger issues. So, right. I'm like, so can I just punch cut you off there? All three of them come under the same weakness. So there's one. You're a dick. Number two? I don't have to do this interview for... You right, Zane? Yes, yeah, sir. Number two, um, please. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. Um, hmm. I don't have right. a lot of weaknesses. You don't have a lot of weaknesses, do you not? Nah, pretty strong. Right, okay. Oh, mm. no, another one of my weaknesses. I struggle on the spot. Sorry? I struggle when I'm put on the spot. That's interesting, that, because if a lot of police work is on the, on the spot, you'd have to improvise. And I'm just wondering why you've come for a police interview in that attire. Uh, because I've come to, you know, join the undercover you okay, Larry? police officers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you right, Larry? You all right, Adam? Not really, no. Um, so, let me give you a scenario question. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, Zane, are you straight? Or... You. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm straight. Yeah. So, let's say you've been speaking to a girl. All right, yep. online. Um... You've been messaging, you've been going out for dates. Don't, no, nothing too serious, but you've just been speaking, you know, about two months in now. Uh, and all of a sudden you find out she's 16. What's your next move? Jesus Christ, I'm handing myself in. Sorry? I'll hand myself in. I'll but, stop texting her and hand myself in. But what do you mean you'd hand yourself in if you've not done anything wrong? If she's I'm lying about her right age, now. that's that's, you know, you can't really help her lying about her age, you know what I mean? But I should have done my research better. True. Fair enough. I like that correct answer. Uh, Marshall, can you uh, ask him a question, please? I'm uh, My mouth's getting yeah. dry and talking that much. What would you do if you was out on patrol and yep. you saw one of your officers um, surrounded by a group of five people and you're not taser trained at this moment in time? What, what would you do? Uh, I'll watch from afar and I'll call him back up. You'd watch from afar? Not from, you know, afar, but I'll be oh. in there. Okay. What about if they're being hostile towards your officer? Getting in, getting in his face, showing... And one of the suspects is 15. What's the age got to do with it? His arm. Correct answer. Carry on. Push a panic alarm and wait for backup. Can't no, I've got a good question, myself. actually. Just a good question. Uh, I've just put my hands up here. <laughs> now... Here is, I think, a great, great question, <laughs> right? Let's imagine, 
I'm going to give you a multiple choice for this one because it's a tricky question, right? Okay, okay. Now, let's say you are being held at knife point, gun point, okay, and someone's holding a grenade to your face. Right, that's quite severe, isn't it? Yeah. Now then, A, you completely abide by what they're saying and cause no, cause no danger to yourself or anyone around you. Or B, you push your panic button for no reason. Which one do you want? Seems like they're both quick questions. Sorry? It seems like both those answers are wrong. Right, okay, and which one... What, oh, right, okay, and what would you do? I would obviously comply. Which is what I said in the first one, but yeah. No, you said run away. No, I didn't. I said abide by what they're saying. Oh, yeah, the number one. Okay, no worries. And why do you reckon you wouldn't just, you know, click your panic button? You know, imagine they just blow up the grenade and boom, I'm yeah. no longer a thing. Yeah. Now, let's give you another scenario, shall we, Zane? Yep. You've been kidnapped. They've took all communications off you. Yep. A, do you stay with them and try and find and figure out your own way out? Or B, do you still click your panic button? <laughs> A. And why A? Because I have no communications, so I can't call for backup, nothing. I don't have a panic alarm. And I, you know, I'm by myself. Okay, nice. I have to find my own way I've got a question. Yeah, go on, Marshall. What would you do if someone was being very aggressive to you on the streets and he had a massive nose? Pull his nose and run. Excuse me? What did you say? Speak when spoken to, please, Zane. Sorry, sorry. Um, Can you repeat what you just said, please, Zane? Yeah, I said um, I'll just ignore him and run. What would you do yep. if someone told you you was out on shift and someone walked up to you and told you you look Sorry about that, there's just a mosquito on my desk. <clears throat> What's that? That's why I take this one, Marshall. Clearly, you've got something in your throat there. Doesn't make a change. <clears throat> Zane, let's give you another scenario. I'm okay, going to read okay. out four acts, and I'd like you to tell me which act doesn't exist. Okay. Is it A, the Human Rights Act? Is it B, Section 25 Act. C, You've Been Caught Act. Or D, Get Slammed Boy Act. D. D. And why is it that you believe A, B and C are correct acts? I feel like C and D are just false. Correct, that was a trick question. Well done, Marshall. Oh, sorry. Someone's, uh, someone's on my Skype here. Just one minute. I told you, don't ring me whilst I'm at work, Brian. No. One second. Is Brian your boyfriend? An email, just check it. No, there's no one else here, Brian. I told you, stop What's ringing it whilst I'm at work, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ID stop it. Your, your back is cheating on you. <laughs> stop it, Brian. No, put your clothes back on. God, what is he like? I've got to go, Brian. Fuck off. <clears throat> oh, you are now, yeah? Yeah, sorry about that. It's just an important business call to do with the uh, MI5. Though. Body yes. What would you do if someone falsely identified you and called you a woman? What's on Dewey? I'll say, excuse me, I'm a male police officer. And then, you know, go from there. Okay. Okay. Now, let's give you another scenario. Let's give you a serious one now, because I believe, Marshall, I think you're fucking about a little bit now. I'm not too happy with that, so I'll speak to you after. Um, <laughs> oh, he's... Something funny, say. Oh, what's funny? What's going on? Oh, sorry, is this... Sorry, I didn't realise we had a comedy show. Are we at a police interview? Is, is Adam a joke to you? Is that just a little chat? I think Michael McIntyre might be still behind me. Oh, no, he's definitely, definitely not. Oh. So what, what's, okay. what's funny, Zane? Nothing, nothing, sorry. No, I don't think so. So I'll ask you another question, Zane. Let's say you pull up to a bank robbery, 
Okay, there's two there's two victims and there's four suspects. Okay, and they're holding okay. the victims at, at knife point. How would you go into negotiate the sus the uh, the situation? I have you know, considering I'm taser trained at this point. Yeah. I'd have my taser out. What I'd surprises are non subs? And I'll ask them for their demands and make sure the hostages are okay, they're well fed. You know, Stance, why do you have to be a dickhead and join in? Time him out. And, you know, comply by their demands, wait till the hostages are safe, and, you know, chase the criminals. Hmm. Interesting. No worries. The last one question, Marshall, unless you got anything else to ask him? Uh. Hmm. I've got an important question to you. Yeah? No. Uh, sorry, what's the name again, sorry? Zane. Zane. Zane? Yeah. What rights do gingers have? No, no. Sorry? sorry? What was that, sorry? Wait, wait, one more time, go on, say it one more time. Sorry? Say it louder. I said human rights. He didn't say that though, did you say? He didn't, did he? What did you say before that, sorry, one more time? I said they have a bunch of rights. Like human rights. rights. What, are you trying to say gingers aren't human? No, you're putting words in my mouth. Well, carry on with that attitude. May I put something else in there? <laughs> Sorry? Is it... You're not Adam? Funny. Sorry, you... It's something funny. Something funny, mate. Because I'll put my finger to the back of your fucking throat and I'll make you fucking gag on him, you dick. I'm gonna go back on uh, on uh, patrol now. Yeah, uh, Zane, I'll get um, Larry in here to sort you out and get All you right. um, you pass the interview. Thank you very much. No, we have not passed right. it. Thank you, Marshall. Just just wait, just wait here. Yeah. Adam is fine. Uh, thank you, Marshall. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, wrong channel. Uh, Larry, receive. <laughs> uh, can you go to the appointment room? I'm not the fucking door now. Why does Marshall keep laughing? Just go back in there, stand on the wall, please. Over there. Thank you. Talking from experience. What was that, sorry, Lee? Dirty bastard. In your head, in your head, a zombie, a zombie, a zombie. Pardon? The, one, the, un the unmarked one, the fast one. Uh, yeah, I got them. Yeah, fine, yeah. Is Larry at the station? Is Larry in the station? Nah, he's not. He's coming down to um, just employ him. All right, no worries. Um, another goal command officer's on duty, so what we'll do is when he's free, we can just Can I help you, Sorry? Can I help you? I've got the car now, mate. You're all right. Huh? So I've got, I've got the car now, mate. Oh, okay, go on. Cheers. I'm only joking, Marshall. Get back here. Marshall, I'm only joking. Imagine I was actually that much of a dickhead. Marshall, I'm in the vehicle now, get in. Oh, I thought you were solid patrolling, mate. That's right. Then, did you want to question this, this game, sir? Uh, we're going to have to do it down the station, aren't we? Yeah, well, that's, my, that's my nephew, by the way, uh, Adam. Alright. Getting fucking done in here, innit? Come on, then, no, you no, knobhead! He's, he's, he's with us, he's with us, he's with us. Dickhead. House wanna, robbery. Uh, anyone riding solo? Uh, yeah, I think Jason Drulo is. Riding solo. I'm riding solo. I'm riding solo, solo. Is that a You okay, Gordon? Good job, Gordon. Uh, this is going to be Adam Sand. They're going to be uh, responding to the recent house robbery. What the okay, fuck? Riding solo, mate. Just hang on a minute. I've got a fucking alien crashing into me here. Uh, no, I'm currently riding my, with uh, co um, commissioner Marshall, who's just given a totally unexperienced person a job at the force. Beautiful. 
Can you uh, put your seatbelt on, please? Uh, it's on somebody on. Um, Quite good at driving, aren't I? Probably flying down once where, it's done. where, where are you going too quickly? The house robber. Right, thank you. Um, also, I'm I'm I think you pinged the wrong thing, mate. No, I didn't. The other suspects in UHK. The vehicle's already steaming. Uh, both suspects. So what was that? Uh, vehicle's steaming. Yeah, we got a suspect here. What's state two? Because you're a fucking dickhead. Alien just crashed into it like a knobhead. Let's go elite, yeah. Get repair then. Fucking joke. Car shit. I'd like to privately have a word with Shanice um, and Larry. Yeah, yeah. Hi, can he refuse and Totty as well. And who? Totty. Who? And the guy with gun. If he just says no comment, then it's up to us to prove get enough evidence to charge him, isn't it? Correct, yeah, that is how the police right works. Oh, oh, sorry, no, I was on the wrong radio there. I was speaking to my mate. Double checking. Yeah, sorry, right. I wouldn't know speak to you like that, Shanice. Don't worry about that, sweetheart. Thank Adam, you, can you start your call sign out, please? Uh, absolutely, Sergeant, right. Mate. Fucking stupid cumhead. Um, right, Marshall. I don't know. Yeah, good, mate. I'll be a go-fetcher if I have a go-fetcher. Um, he's driving a bit, you know what I mean? He's the cumhead, isn't he? But, you know. Who? Sergeant White? Yeah. Hey, he's alright to be fair. Yeah, but he's got hair the same colour as Jizz. Oh, yeah, 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 he does. If an interview, Shanice, and you found him with a gun, just then charge him with it. Fuck off, Lee. You stink. <laughs> God! <laughs> um, he's decided he wants a lawyer anyway, so I've just called him. Um... Yeah, we're nice. There's no one here. There is. Do deal with this whilst I need to deal with something, Marshall, please. Go on, go on. It is on, fucking on. hot in my room, chat. Might be too hot. Might be too hot, chat. Uh, excuse me. Right, I need to do I can't something. Smoke here. By the way. Can't remember what I need to do, but I need to do what's this? Okay, small cheer of the raid, mate. Jammy, cheer of the tier one. Darren, cheer of the ten months, mate. CM 180, cheer of the three months as well, mate. Anthony, cheer of the tier one. Cam say, cheer of the primer, mate. Take your top off, to be fair. I will do soon. That's it. RD name. Sergeant Adam Sandler now. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're right, lads. Bit right. busy today, yeah, are we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yeah, very busy, busy yeah. yeah. Can I have in Marshall, Marshall Smith? Yeah. Alright, thank you, Oster. Have a good evening. Cheers, mate. You too, mate. A little bit awkward for you there, Marshall. No, not really. No. So, Griggy! For the 31, Greg. Thank you, mate. Greg, sorry. Thank you, mate. Your staff are unreal, Pingu. You literally stink of shit. Right, then. Oh, where are you? What's going on in the city? Have you been busy today, Marshall? How long have you been on shift? Uh, I've been on shift for a bit. Been quite boring. How long have you been on shift? I've been on shift for a bit. Now let's just spin that round, imagining that was a police interview. How long yeah. ago were you at the store before it was robbed? Just a bit ago. Wouldn't, wouldn't, go, wouldn't go down well, that, would it? So let's not take yeah, the piss here. Let's not oh, sit here hours, and insult each other's intelligence, eh? No, of course not. About six hours. Six hours? Yeah. Oh, Oh. 
Hey, Burnett, thank you very much for the five gifted. I appreciate that, Burnett. Thank you very much. Legend, thank you. Matty, do you have the six as well? Hey, Burnett, I appreciate the five, though, seriously. Thank you. Can you give him one for one, it? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming out. Yeah, put him in the room. You're a sergeant. Shit. What? I think he's on to me. You're a sergeant. Sorry, repeat last story. Just say sorry. Shh. Yeah. Adam, can you change your calls to your um, actual role to PPC based on the sergeant, please? Uh, no, I'm a sergeant, thank you, Mr. Wright. Uh, you're a PPC, buddy. Oh, congratulations, Adam. Thank you very much, mate. Gordon. I appreciate that. Thank Congrats, you. Mate. Uh, Thank you. Do you know what I like about you, Gordon? You've accepted it straight away and you've realised that I am a sergeant. You've not tried to put me down straight away, so I appreciate that yeah, a lot. Thank you very much, it, Gordon. Mate, thank you. Mate. Hey, thank you very much, Bronze. Thank you. Can you go on to Orcs, mate? Yep. Oh, shit. Sandra, can I have a chat with you? Uh, maybe go on to... Custody. Custody. Shit. Gaffer, do you have the five, mate? So did somebody Going want to talk to... with me then? Going to court. Yeah, I'm currently just on the scene dealing with something, but when you're uh, free... Marshal, all these need the job. Or if to go to a different radio channel? Uh, yeah, no, it's alright. I'll wait at the station for you, mate. We can have a, a nice farm on meeting. Roger that. I'll, I'll speak to you soon. No worries, mate. Thank you. Alright, we're going to train all these together. Okay. Because there's like four of them. No all right, problem. Adam, mate. Yeah, just wondering who, who revived Albert Einstein. Jesus Christ. Stay here, you. All right, you okay, mate? What's your name? Hello, mate. My name's Sean Ross. How are you doing? What's your name, sorry? Uh, Sean Ross, mate. Sean Ross. Oh, nice. Yep. And where's your glasses from? Uh, Specsavers, mate. The prescription oh. sunglasses, but it's a bit dark outside. I'm nice. Just a quick question. Have you got any uh, criminal records? Uh, no, mate. You can have a little look if you want. No, I'm not that interested. Um, excuse me, mate. You okay? Yes, mate. You? Yeah, I just wondering what happened to the side of your face. Uh, I just fell over the curb, mate. On the way. All right. Do you think that's very professional on the way to an interview? Oh, it's not an interview, mate. I got accepted, but you know, oh, I can't help tripping. Oh, well, it's not an interview, feet, is mate. it? No, I got accepted, mate. Oh, right, you've been accepted. Well, guess what? You've just been unaccepted. So, what's the you go, mate? Come over me quickly. Excuse me. So you are excused. How you, you go? Me. Yeah, yeah. See you later. What? Because I fell over a curb. You know, right. sack me for that. Well, you can't sack to that's a job you don't have, mate. I do have the job, mate. I just oh, do you? Do you? I do, mate. Yeah. 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 Do you? Yeah. Mhm. Yeah. yeah. Marshall! That lady has a lot of <clears throat> Marshall? You are Adam? No, I'm not. The guy in the grey suit out there uh, has just oh, said, I've already been hired, you fat cunt. Whoa. What? Exactly. You're not you're not fat though, so what's uh, Exactly. That right. So I'd, Adam, I'd like I that wanna... to be dealt with, please. Yep, yeah, don't show anyone the badge because it's fucking my name. Keep it on you. Okay. Who's called you? Marshall. He's called you fat. Uh, the gentleman in the grey suit out there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did hear that. He called you a fat you. fucker. I said that's a witness. Head fuck. Kata, do you want to go outstate too? Yeah, right, he what? told me he smoked marijuana. What, what, what did you call him? My fellow officer. I never Bro. called him anything, mate. You don't lie to him, mate. Because don't, don't lie to him. We've got witnesses. Go and check that body camera. No, there's no, there's no audio on the cameras, mate. There's no audios. Alright, I'm pretty sure these cameras are Yeah, there's no audio on the CCTV either. Right, so yeah, he said I was already sacked before right. getting my job, mate. Just no, no, you fell over the curb on the way here, mate. Okay. Um, just go in the office for me quickly and speak to um, the fellow in the silver. Uh, Adam, come over here quickly, please, mate. Yeah. Right, listen. Well, what are you doing, mate? Oh, that's fine. Uh, I, know, I know you're not going to like to hear the news yet, but um, it's just how it goes. I am happy myself to promote you to a PC. And then from PC, obviously, you can work your way up to the sergeant. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel like your work, the oh, gratitude... So, is this Larry? Yeah, yeah. Hi, Larry. Are you okay, mate? So, if you don't mind me asking, yeah, Larry, yeah. what rank are you? Uh, inspector, mate. Inspector. Now, Larry, can I be 100% honest? And, you know, I've just off the record. Yesterday, I was the best cop on the force. Correct or not, Marshal? He was, yesterday. He showed right. himself, yeah. So, I'm just wondering why I'm still a PPC. Um, your PC now. The boss is there. You've been promoted. Oh, PC. Oh, to a PC. Thank you very much. Like... A PC. Now, how yeah. long does it take for me to get to sergeant? Because. Oh, sorry. I'd have. Well, that's not very professional, if I'm honest. With you, Will Larry. Right. I'd like to also just point out the fact of. Name me a sergeant on this force, please. 
Name me one. Curtis right. Wright. Who? Wright. Smith. Point proven. If I've not heard of him, they're obviously not good enough. Right? Leo Smith. Who? Leo Smith. Exactly. Who's Leo Smith? Firearms. Firearms. A firearm. Fire this, fire that. He fires blanks, mate. <laughs> That's what he fires. Right? And I'm going to be honest, I think I deserve to be promoted to a sergeant. Listen, Adam, if you put in the work, uh, it doesn't put in the work, put in the work. What more work needs to be put in? There was officers, there was officers held at gunpoint at the top of a crane. I've managed to talk Ooh. him down. I've managed, what, what, what more do you want me to do? That's not a sergeant's job. That's a commissioner's job. And you bottled it, Marshall. You stood no. behind me with your handgun going, you take negotiations. That's what you yeah. did. And I didn't want to call you out on it, Marshall, but I'll call you out on it now, mate. You bottled okay. it and the big dog went in. Okay. Yo, Adam, what I'm going to say is keep up your good work and I'm sure it won't oh, take you long to get a sergeant. Yeah, You're doing well. Fucking joke, this. Fucking joke. Absolute fucking joke. I've heard an explosion there as well, but I've not heard fucking what it is. Apple car over, mate. Apple car involved. Yeah, yeah, that was him who did it. Stanley, how you doing? Oh, hello, sir. How are you? You okay? I believe I'm Yeah, very good. You okay? Your face all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, it's all right. I just tell you, I just like headbutt in the concrete just wake me up a bit before I got on patrol. Fair enough. Whatever you decide to do is up to you. Um, just you. a quick query it was really. Um, yeah. Obviously I see that you've um, got yourself down as a sergeant within the radio. Just clarifying that really. Yeah. Um, haven't, I haven't been emailed at all to say there's been any promotions. So last I heard that you were a PPC. Oh. I'm, I don't mean this in any rude way at all. Okay, I'm still learning everybody at the force. What rank are you, sir? Uh, Deputy Commissioner. Deputy Commissioner. It's okay, Tom Roberts, um, yes. Tom Roberts, nice to meet you, Tom. Uh, I believe I have met nice you before, you. but I weren't obviously acknowledging your name. Um, so, Mr. Roberts, what I'd like to say to you is, have you heard about what happened yesterday? At what time, sir? Approximately midnight. No, not directly at that time, no. I was unfortunately Mr. Asleep. Roberts, I think we need to have a chat. Come on then, let's have a chat. Bov, just look, listen to the silence and just watch us walk, Bov. This is 5,000 aura up already. Yeah, go on. Already 5k aura. Is that you, Robert? Yeah, it, it is, yeah. Be. Someone who does his yeah, job. Yeah, pop it in. Uh, okay. Do you want, do you want to... Why do you feel is it's best for us to have a meeting yeah. in here? Perfect. I'm just going to take a seat if that's okay, Mr. Roberts. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, no Thank problem. You. Now, Mr. Roberts, I don't know how to put this into words for you, sir, but yesterday there was officers taken hostage at the top of a crane held at gunpoint. Have you heard about this, Mr. Roberts? Not at the top of the crane, no. I haven't heard about that since I've come in. No. So what's happened... Mr. Roberts is, um, there was a guy called Kev Big. He, uh, he actually had a combat pistol on him and he took one of our hostage, uh, one of our officers hostage. Um, nice. I've actually tracked down Kev Big uh, after he went live stream on a crane. He was straight streaming it, um, which is totally inappropriate in its own, in its own right. Uh, I've then climbed the crane uh, after being told to take negotiations by Assistant Commissioner uh, Marshall. However, may I just say to you, um, I don't feel as though that a PPC should be taking negotiations of such a high risk um, situation where if something was to go wrong, I'd be multiple, multiple casualties. Um, however, I took it in my stride and I, and some would say I shined. I am the sun that climbs through the cloudy clouds. I am the rainbow that shines after a thunderstorm. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I, I took it in my stride and, I've actually negotiated him down. I've, I've made him drop the pistol. He's then come down the ladders extremely safely and everybody unharmed. And I just feel as though if that is not worthy of a sergeant promotion, then I'll hold my hands up and I'll say, what the fuck is? I, I mean, that, that sounds like, uh, you know, excellent 
excellent thing you've just done. Um, I, I'm, I'm really glad I didn't hear more about it at the time, you know? Something that major from a PPC, I'm surprised I haven't been made aware. Exactly. And what, what happened to the person? What do you mean the person? The person that obviously you uh, got down. Sorry, standby, I'm just in a meeting. Uh, he was arrested. He was arrested. Fantastic. Yeah. What was his name? Uh, Kev Big. Kev Big. I, I'm sorry, you did say that, didn't you? Yeah. Um, okay, fantastic. And that was around midnight, was it? Um, I believe so. Could have been a bit later. I'd say uh, from 12 to 2. Perfect. Two. And did you uh, did you arrest him? I was the one who placed him in cuffs, correct? Fantastic. Okay. I'm just looking through just to see if yeah, and you just have a look at the MDT. That's what Marshall told me to do. I personally believe it's inappropriate. I don't feel as though there's enough information there, but that's what he told me to do. So, do, do you know I which just the followed... MDT is? Pardon? Do you know which one the MDT is? Uh, yeah, it's the one where it says 235 months. I don't see an MDT for that. Do you not? No. Here we go. It's, MBT, it's MDT 1486. 1486, there we go. Perfect. Right. So well, I personally, that was actually my first MDT, and I said to Marshall, can you talk me through it, please? Um, right. And that's actually what he said. I personally believe that there's not enough on there, uh, but that's what no, he told 100%. me to do. Right. Uh, I'll call Mark Danny because obviously that's not really acceptable from him, is it, if that's the case? Marshall, are you receiving? Just pop into the appointment room, please. Because as you know, obviously... So what was that? Uh, Sorry, are we getting Marshall in here? Yeah. Just yeah. getting in here. Just yeah, to... Just, uh, it's not it. ideal, is it? From, no, uh, no, it's not, no, it's not. It's not. It's, I'm just going to take a seat. Oh, you know, it's hot in here today, isn't it, eh? Oh. Do you want the aircon on? No, it's all right. I'll be all right. Just got a nice slush, you know. Oh, yeah, hey, you right, Marshall? You, you all right? Uh, Marshall, I'm, I'm led to believe by Mr. Sandler that there was an incident. Well, I don't think my night. name came up there. Um, yeah, carry on. Sorry. There Come was on, an incident last night with a firearm with a big Kev. Yeah, yeah, on the crane. Yep. That's it, yeah, Can you I'll, just I'll, talk I'll, us I'll, through I'll, it, Marshall, word for word, and exactly what happened, please? Look, Robert Scott, sorry, what were you saying? No, I'm, I'm led to believe uh, Mr. Sandler did some really good work. So I'm, I'm yeah. intrigued to find out why I've not been told and um, y w what happened. Objection. So what happened was, oh. Leading. It wasn't really good work. It was the best work that this PD has ever witnessed, quite frankly. But I'll let Marshall do the talking. Do you want me to carry on? Yeah, please. Yeah, so there was a, um, an active scene, apparently, someone seen with a gun. Yep. Um, it was hard to believe that the person was on the crane at the time. Yep. So I've had my firearm in my hand at this time. Me and okay. uh, Adam have got up the crane to negotiate with the suspect. Mm -hmm. I was on to the top. The suspect was at the end of the crane with his gun drawn, which I had my gun drawn as well, aiming on the right of um, Adam. And Adam yep. was negotiating with the suspect. He was in he front was, of you, Marshall. Was, yeah, you was. Thank you. Yeah. And... Um, so, um, obviously, to see what Adam's negotiation skills are like and how he's doing, I told him, can you take negotiation with um, the suspect? Which he right. did. Done a fantastic okay. job. The suspect placed a gun down on the risky ground. With a, risky from a PPC, but I'd rate it. because obviously A PPC that he knew could handle the task in hand. A hundred percent. That is, you know, that's get the most of out of our officers. Yeah, so fantastic. he's defused the situation, managed mm -hmm. to um, calm the suspect down. The suspect did place, place the gun on the floor. Brilliant. To which then Adam on the floor. Oh, on the crane. Remarkable. Fantastic um, work. And then, to which then Adam went in for handcuffs on the su subject. Now, what he's and missed then, out there is a suspect was threatening to jump. We could have had a suicidal case on our hands, okay, and nobody would have lived to tell the story. Okay, you could have taken all officers with us, but I've interjected it immediately. I've shut it down. I've shut it down like as they're at 8pm. Closed. Right, no one in, no one out. The shutters are down, you're coming with me. One of them ones. Yep. Yeah, so um, I spoke to Adam today. Yep. And I told him, obviously, he did do a firearms interview. 
I've told mm -hmm. him that he's been denied from it, obviously because of his rank. Yep. But I said to him, I've seen his work, I've seen him doing a fantastic job. I'm happy myself to promote him to a PC. He would like to be a sergeant. I've yep. explained to him I would have to speak to you lot first um, about the situation as we've got mm -hmm. to follow the process of command. But like I said, I can only do my best and promote him to a PC for the time being. Yep. But if other gold commands are happy, puts in the shift, puts in another, another good shift, continues it, promotions can be um, given out. Absolutely. Um, now, the the, uh, the next aspect we've got from obviously Sergeant's perspective, let's say, from here. Yeah. yeah and MDT was created. Now, um, <coughs> Ms. Sandler believes that he was guided on the MDT by yourself. Is that correct? What, well, uh, for the incident happened yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Um, so, oh. the MDT, I don't know if you want to get it up and tell me what you think about it. Uh, incident 1486. 1486, one, yeah? Yes, please. Oh, it's fucking hell. I think, that icon, I think we need that icon on, actually, if you don't mind, Office size. Getting yeah, a bit sweaty no problem, in there. Yeah, have a look. Would you like a drink as well? I can't see yes, please, yeah, it. a little bit. 1486. Oh, All right, let me have a look. Sorry, did you call me up? There you are, here's your drink. Thank oh, yeah. you, thank you. Cheers. Sorry, did you have a look at it? Kind of, yeah. One second, I'm just in the appointment room quickly. Bear with. Um, one, is it one, one? I'll four, fix you uh, over the 12, one, mate. Four, eight, six. One, four, eight, six. Yeah. Well, get back in, Alpha. It's a um, description. Pause of fire arm. That's the title. <laughs> What's the title oh, of it? Sorry, just so I can get it up again. Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Sorry. Police brutality! Okay. Police oh, brutality! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The title is Pause of Fire. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, here, yeah. A bit like a Ring of Fire. Uh, oh right, yeah, I've got it here. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. You got that one, yeah. yeah. Uh, so tell me what you think of that as a sergeant's perspective. What do you think that MVP description? Is like? He had a gun. He had a gun. <laughs> Yeah, I did tell um, Mr. Adam Sandler, obviously you have to put in, copy and paste the description into the description form mm -hmm. and fill it out, but I think um, obviously you didn't understand that at the time. Mm -hmm. So no, it's actually, um, I just don't understand why we're copy and pasting. I think it should be written in, in our own words, no? No, but it needs to be... Uh, if you go oh, for I'm instance, not, I yeah. mean, 100%, I believe, uh, I, I, I agree, but... The copy and paste part is the template, Mr. Sandler. Uh, ah, we've okay, well, I'm not... Four officers. Right, okay. Um, See, I, I wasn't... Like I've, basic... I've not been made aware of this. Right, this is this is sort of where I'm alluding to with the sergeant perspective. Yeah. Obviously, sergeants are leaders, people that know what they're doing and want yeah. to obviously teach others. Now, I am a leader. I'm more than happy to obviously... Um, you know, I am a leader. To ...push you towards that. Yeah. But unfortunately, at this moment in time... Um, yeah, we, we need to see a good MDT. All right. So we actually rank the officers based on what they can write down on a piece of paper and not based on how they handle certain situations where civilians' lives are at risk. Is that correct? No, that's a negative. It's got to be a full package, Mr. Sandler. I mean, um, may I ask, uh, just as a out of the blue thing, what was, uh, can, can you talk me through what a, uh, a go wisely section one search would be? Sorry, I didn't hear that, sorry. Section one, go wisely search. Would you be able to perform one of them? Yeah, it's grounds to search, yeah. Okay. Um, would, you, would you like to perform one on Marshall? Um, so, cool. To be honest, I don't feel comfortable. You don't? <laughs> but what if it was in a situation where you had to do it? Would you feel comfortable then? If I, if I had to do it, I would, I would absolutely, 100%, yeah. Okay. Now, could, would you be able to read him his rights? I absolutely would, yeah. Uh, but again, I just don't think it's acceptable. Oh, I would like to hear it, please. <clears throat> You'd like to hear what, sorry? I feel like you're stalling at this point. A sergeant would, would just rule it off their tongue. Well, no, I just don't, I just don't, you know, I mean, if you want to, uh, fine. You, don't, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention and question something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence necessary for, of arrest is prompt and effective investigation. Fantastic. You Thank read you. that really well. Thank you. It's just memorised, that's all. 
Perfect. Okay, so obviously we're halfway there. You know, we're, we're currently we're starting to sound like an officer, which is brilliant. Thank you. Um, when, how long have you been on the force now, Mr. Sandler? How long have you been on the force, if you don't mind me asking, sir? Probably a month or two. Okay. If, no, actually, I wouldn't say that. I'd probably say a couple of weeks. I'd, so. I'd probably say I'd, I've been in... Um, you see, I've worked in different sort of uh, areas of the force, if you understand what okay. I'm saying. Right. Um, I was actually trained in guerrilla warfare and I did four years in the SAS. Um, nice. I've actually worked abroad in the CIA and I've worked abroad in the... Um, uh, what would you... How do you describe it? New York City, PD. Uh, you know, I've... I've I've understood a multitude of ways this law and, and force can work, um, but however, this actual city, I've probably been a bit, a bit I've been a, an officer approximately two weeks. It's right. the if put it this way, if you had a complete CV, it would be mine in front of you. I mean, it's pretty impressive what you told me already. Thank you. Uh, have you done a PC test? Excuse me. Had you done within the time you've been here? Have you done a PC test? Uh, no. Can I actually be, off his, uh, be honest with you, Mr. Roberts? Yeah, go for it. And I mean this, and I'm, I'm going to say this as a um, constructive criticism, not from your mm -hmm. half or anything. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be quite blunt with it as well, Mr. Roberts. Yeah, please do. So please just bear your ears. The training of the PD is absolutely dog shit. I have had no one offer me assistance or try and teach me anything. <laughs> and sometimes... I just need that one person, sorry. That one person to just say, Sandler, are you okay? Because sometimes I just need that reassurance. It's all right. I no, I turned understand. Would you like a tissue? No, it's all right. I'll just use me, Mr. Steve. <laughs> now, I, I hear everything you're saying, Miss Sandler, and uh, I've been in here roughly two weeks, as you say, myself, and... Uh, Lots of things we've identified, and I believe you actually was inducted just before I got here. So, yeah. lots of training that's being implemented now, and unfortunately, you're in a bit of a, a situation where you may have missed that training when ultimately, um, you know, you should have been provided it. I mean, yeah, you, I'm, I'm more than happy to take you out on a ride along, and we'll go through some ropes with you, um, yeah, and obviously help you out because obviously it seems like, you know, you've got the ability, and when I've been seeing you on situations, you've got the confidence. Thank to you. Go and lead situations. So I don't want to hold you back because ultimately, you know, you've you have been shown some good work, but you know, sometimes we do have to have the paperwork side as well. Um, yeah. So I'm more than happy to take you out and show you some uh, show you some things. Yeah. We Is have also uh, set up. Uh, I've got a, a cheat sheet that everyone works towards. I don't know if you've received it within the emails, but I'm more than happy to send that to you. Um, and that's a very good uh, learning document that. There's basically everything on it that you need to know here. Small little basic section, stuff like that, uh, that you can learn in your own time. Um, but ultimately, you know, we don't hold people back for the sections that they know or don't know. We just look for the good work in the force. And I know you've done that already. Thank you. So I'm offering you a ride along if you would like to go on one. Uh, that's fine, yeah, but I'd like Marshall with me as well, please. Absolutely. We can all go together. Thank you. We can all, uh, you know, try to uh, do as much as you can and, you know, in no time, I'm sure you may get to that sergeant position. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much for obviously that. Let's head out into the car park and um, let's go get cracking. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bloody hell, that took a while, didn't it? You okay, Gordon? Sorry. Yeah, I'm all right. I had a must where I just saw you outside, mate. What was that, sorry? I thought I saw you outside. No, no, I'm, I've, just, I've just been in it. Sorry, go on. Just, just one minute. What's wrong? No, it's all right. What's wrong about him? It's all right. I'm going to have to, like... I've got the commissioner rolling around PD with me. I need to be fucking switched on here. I can't fuck about... <sighs> nah, I can't. I need to get in my head here. I need to, like, fucking... Do you know what I mean? I need something. I need something. You right, babe? Yeah, I'm all right, Gordon. Just obviously, you know. What mean? You don't seem yourself, mate. No, no. So obviously, I don't know if you've heard about it, but I was unbelievable um, yesterday. Uh, I put my oh. mind to it, and, and I negotiated one of the most hostile situations I think that the MRPD has seen. Um, however, 
I've only been promoted to a PC. I you did, what? Exactly. Shush. I've only been promoted oh, wait. To, to PC. You because, was a sergeant? Yeah. And then they put you back down? No, so I, I, I never was a sergeant. Technically, I just always performed as one. Do you know what I mean? So I just assumed that they'd give me it. However, it turns out they haven't. Um, and it actually turns out that... And they just give me PC. Uh, come on, mate, don't. Hold it in, don't cry. No, because, no, you know, because no, no, I know, I know that I, I will be one of the best officers in this, uh, in this city mate, if, I, if I tried to. And then, mate, don't, don't, mate. You're gonna, you're gonna make me fucking like tear up, mate. Don't do that. Got a minute here. Are you the lad who's just been hired? No, I'm one of them. Yes. What rank are you? I ain't got a uh, probation, police constable. The guy that I'm what rank's that, Garden? The first rank to recruit. Wait, 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 hang on, wait, what? Shush! Yeah, apparently the uniforms have been updated. What was it now? Here, mate? PPC. PPC? Why has he got a better uniform than me? Yeah, what's going on here? Um, I believe, uh, I just got given the uh, dress code, mate. That's, that's all I've been given. Is it? Is that what you've been given, is it? Yes, yes. Where have you been given that? Um, by one of the um, inspectors, I believe. Trojan 2, I think he is. Right. That's Will interesting, isn't it? You, you give us a minute, mate. Absolutely. I'll meet you out there, Bobby, if you need me. Right. Right, right Adam. No, mate. Please don't tear up, mate. He's going to... No, no, it's, it's, I'm, gonna... I'm not going to tear up, Gordon, but I just want, you know, some bit, a bit of respect in the force, you know? I believe that you have everything that it takes to be a sergeant. That's a fuck, mate. I've got, not more. With all due respect, I think I've got everything it takes to be the commissioner. <laughs> but I don't want to be that. Yeah. I don't. I don't want all that hassle. Do you know what I mean? I understand. Now, who gave you the false promise of being a sergeant? Oh, what was his name? What was his name? Um, what's his name? Marshall. That's it. Yeah. Marshall. Yeah, he's one of the guys that can. Uh, no, it that. weren't Marshall. It weren't Marshall. It was uh, David Batter. David Batty? Yeah. Right. I don't think I met him. Yeah, David right. Batty. Well, um, apparently he's assistant commissioner or something. Oh, well, look, I'm going to have a little word with them. Yeah. So I'm going to talk to them about how you performed with me, you know, the other, early, the other day. Yeah, in the interrogations, you know. In the interrogation and all. Look, mate, I don't know if you've heard. A lot of guns are coming into the street. We're going to need a few more hands on investigating. Is it? Go oh, blimey. Uh, so, around, mate. No, no, I was going to put my taser out, but I thought second to none. No, no, all right. Well, but I feel like we need some more people on the force, you know? They can handle mm. them, Sam. Oh. <clears throat> uh, one right, gents. Easy. Okay, shall I take this right, off boys. Then? Just quit to have a taser. Hello, mate, you're right. Right, right. Son, are you ready to um head out? Yeah, I'm ready, mate. Cool, let's go. All right, we'll speak soon, mate. Yeah, I'll speak soon, Gordon, mate. Yeah, if you want to take that off. Uh, actually, no, leave it on. Just leave it on. To jump no, what did I say about that if he's a commissioner, by the way, I cannot fuck about her. No way. Right, Mr. Sunler, you may have received an email. A little bit of help. Right, okay. That everyone should have received. And what, what, the cheat sheet? Yeah, that's the one. Yep. That's just basically everything on there that uh, everyone sort of w is working towards. Yeah. The more you know on it, the better, but... You can uh, access at any point, just to refresh if you need to. Okay, no worries. And uh, Rob, Mr. Rogers, if you don't mind asking, what rank are you again, sorry, sir? Deputy Commissioner. Deputy Commissioner. And what Very are you, sorry, uh, Marshal? Deputy Commissioner. And what's the difference, sir? Uh... He's higher up than me, Roberts. Right, okay, I'm with you. Right, do you want to get a uh, car out, Miss Sunler? We'll More than happy yourself? to, yeah. Well, I've actually been... Uh, Marshal said that I should start riding out around on this, but I weren't sure. I mean, it, it yeah, you're, you're still you're, you're entitled to do so. We've got a few uh, officers that do. No, but I just weren't. I just weren't sure on it, but it's just what Marshall said. That's all. Okay. But I, I, I like to use me for me me for door tailgate. That's all. You alright, mate? I'm alright. You alright? Yeah, not too really bad, thank you. Just gonna give uh, Miss Sunless some training. Alright. Got to show him I'm fucking up to it now, chat. Seriously. Not a sergeant, then. But what was that? Sorry, mate. Are you not a sergeant? Oh, those sirens are loud, aren't they? <laughs> 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 
Lock, I've got to lock the fuck in here. I've got to lock it in. Right, okay, so what we normally like to do is just uh, get a feel for what you do and you don't know, yeah. firstly. Um, get a bit of experience, what you feel you're comfortable with, and then we try and work on what... It you was yellow, it was amber! With. Yeah, it's amber to me as well. So talk to me, in, in terms of the policing over here, what have you uh, have you done so far uh, that you feel you, you're good at, other than the communication that we've already spoken about? Can I be honest? Go on. Everything. It's a good in, answer. In terms of, I've done everything. Whether I'm good at it is down to your your opinion, really, isn't it? Um, I would argue that I, when I put my mind to it, and I'm extremely serious, I'm probably one of the best officers on the force. Uh, yep. However, I have the tendency to, let's say, lock out and lock in, if you know what I mean. If I'm honest, we're kind of off the force that we're going for. We're looking for very similar where, you know, if we need to be locked in, then yeah. we lock ourselves in. But then when we're, you know, we're in these situations, you know, we're, we're out, we're having a little bit of a, a fun and enjoying ourselves while we're here. Because at the end of the day, that's what the whole point of it is, isn't it? We're enjoying ourselves. And when the time comes, we lock ourselves in like now and we get ourselves See, this is the bit where I struggle with. I don't know what to call in here. Okay, so what we're doing, we're looking to call in that you're on a fail to stop. Okay. And we're looking to try and give landmarks. Most people know landmarks rather than things. So we're heading now up to Upper Power Street and they're going for a jump. Oh! oh. We've landed it! We've landed it! I landed it! Good work. So I'll take comms for a second. Pull it over, mate! And then you can see. No worries. This is Golf X-Ray 3. We're in a uh, fail to stop with the Mini Cooper again. We've now got one on foot. Can we get an initial, please, Del Perro Freeway? You can get back here, you cheeky bastard. You can get back here now. Oi! Where are you going, knobhead? No, apologies. I had to. Wait. He's fell, he's fell down, he's fell down. Hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> stop running, stop running. <laughs> Tackle to the ground. Fantastic work, Marshall. There we go. Now stand up yeah. with your hands in the air, sir. Stand up with your hands in the air. Turn around. Turn around. Go up against the wall. Put yourself up against the wall, sir. Do not move a muscle, I will say. He's running for cuffs now. Cuffs in, cuffs in, cuffs in. Good work. Sussex Tell has him. been cuffed and I've grabbed his arm. Fantastic work. Arrested. Tell him he's been arrested for dangerous driving. Okay, okay, so you'll be arrested for dangerous stop. driving and failing to stop. Uh, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence, something that you are later questioned on. <clears throat> something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence necessary of arrest is a prompt and effective investigation. Amazing. Cool. Now give him a section 32 search. After every arrest, you need to... Oh, do we not do that at the station? No, we do it here because in case he's got anything on him that he shouldn't do. And we get at the station at section 54. Okay, sir. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put it in your back pocket now. Do you want to get a little grab? Excuse me? What was that, sorry, Marshall? That wasn't me, mate. It was him. No, it was him. Interesting, that. Let's take his mask off his helmet quickly. I can't fuck it. I don't want to let go of him. Has he got anything on him that he shouldn't have? He has got a skateboard, a petrol can, a pizza. And that's about it, mate. Right, we'll take the petrol can, just in case he starts pouring it on the floor in uh, custody. Yeah. Keep that on you for now. And if that's it, you can place him inside the vehicle. Good work, well done. Thank you. There we go. Right, we'll go back to his vehicle now, and we'll search his vehicle, yeah, make sure he hasn't stored anything here. in there. No, what's wrong, mate? Oh, does he want arrested for just being a dickhead? Yeah, I'll see you called in the back. None of your Listen, fucking mate, we'll business. What's wrong? Stop walking on a motorway, you knobhead. Right, we'll search his vehicle, just make sure there's nothing Go back, on go it. back, go back. Oh, I can't really reverse here, can I? It's not. It's... Come on, I'm not trying to break the law, Marshal. Fair play, I'll rate that. Thank you. Yep, fair enough. Could you be can turn left here, though? Yep. So, just uh, whenever you arrest someone, oh, on the right hand one, right hand one, right hand one. Yep. Whenever you arrest someone, you always read them the rights and then you uh, search them under section 32. Okay. Well, and why 32? What, why not 31? Because section 32 of PACE is uh, searching after arrest. 
Yeah, I thought so. No worries. I'm going to be, section, I'm going to be uh, searching your calendar, section 69 of You've Been Caught Act. Uh, nothing in the glove box. Perfect. And six, section 70 for the boot. Section 70 under your mum's got big dirty milf act. No, nothing in there. Well, I'm be impounding the vehicle. Impound it, yep, that's the one. No worries, and how long should I make him wait? Uh, entirely up to you. Seven days, mate. You can get it in seven days. Yep, fair enough. Perfect. Fucking sweating. Sorry about that. Can you repeat that? Uh, yeah, pods him. Uh, said nothing. Oh, okay, nothing. perfect. Just making sure. Good, good work, though. That was a good arrest. Thank you. That is essentially all we're looking for with an arrest. Is just uh, once you arrest them, tell them why they're arrested. Read them the rights. Search yeah. them under section 32. And then um, taking down to custody. What you choose to do around that is entirely up to you. Okay. You, fun, whatever. Say whatever you want, but as long as them keywords are said, I, I really don't mind. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be Adam Sandler. They're gonna be uh, no, 76 to the uh, MRPD. One dirty little scummy criminal. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, you Fuck off, Shanice, you dirty bitch, and get your baps out. Probably <laughs> not that though. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Shanice. Wrong radio. I'm always doing that. Yeah, just uh, just be a little bit mindful, just in case. May not be Shanice is the problem. It may be another officer taking offence. You know what it's like. Oh, well, if I weren't speaking to them, they can go and fuck themselves. <clears throat> I've got a question for you, officer. Go on. Can you press charges of an assault that you weren't assaulted in? Only if you're pressing charges on the person that was assaulted. No, so let's say I assault you, but Marshall wants to press charges on me, but you don't. Can that... Don't work like that, does it? No, no not really. So no. if I've not spoke to them, they can't be offended. That's the way I look at it. I, I, see, I see your valuation there. Um, Thank you. Unfortunately, it's just the world we live in, really, isn't it? It's the world they live in. The world I live in is the same as Ricky Gervais's. Let's get back to MRPD now. Deal with this dirty scum. I don't like gates open, we're coming in hot. Fuck. <laughs> Lovely parking. Thank you, I do love a reverse bay. All right, so we're going to take you out the vehicle now. Just mind your head, yeah. Thank you. <coughs> well, you're running now, you mate. No worries. We'll just uh, take our time. Then. It'll be a bit awkward, isn't it? Thank you. Is he still running, is he? No worries. I'll just deal with this one. You say so just boff, just sheer boff is what I leak. I leak boff. I leak the bother up. There's a leak boff, don't I? Take that off though, because it is fucking hot chat. No, sorry. Hello? Hello? Be all you mean, yeah, you're Hello? funner. Dickhead. Mr. Sandler, do you have the Hello? template for the MDT? I'm doing, um, uh, I'm doing I don't believe so. With uh, okay, I'll uh, send that over straight away for oh, you. Yeah. Right, essentially, we bring him to the front desk here. Yeah. Do you want to stand on this sign for me, please? Can you stand there on the yellow on the yellow sign, please, mate? No. No? No worries. No. Deal with this in a minute. Okay, interesting. I mean, he ain't going far. So while we're waiting for him to uh, grow up, it's all right. You'll stand on there yeah, in a minute. Yeah, fine. No worries. I'll close my eyes. Get bored. Can I get a quick ping on that table, please? Shit. 
Ah, oh, miss me. <laughs> fucking tackle to the ground, knobhead. Now stand on the fucking yellow floor when I say stand on the yellow fucking floor. Dickhead. There we go. I wonder what he's gonna do here. <laughs> I wonder what he. I wonder what he says to me here. Sorry, can we be quiet on the radio? Uh, we're just trying to talk in the cells. Thank you. Uh, Miss Sandler, once you're in the uh, cells, if you yeah. want to throw yourself over to custody radio. Custody radio. Yep. Go on to um, think about your. Oh right, yeah, uh, got that. Yeah. There we are. There you are, and then you're uh, nice and quiet. No, it's perfect. Right. So while they are in custody, they're entitled to four things: food and water. Yeah. They're also entitled One to phone a lawyer, call. A phone, phone a call. Yeah. And uh, medical advice if they need it. Yeah. Um, so you just have to make them aware of that. If okay. they don't, if they call a lawyer, they go, well, oh, you haven't offered me Excuse it. Excuse me, mate. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're entitled to a lawyer, medical help if needed, food and water. Unfortunately, you're entitled to it. However, I will not be giving you any of it today because I think you're a bit of a prick. I would like all of the above, please. No worries, I'll get that to you very shortly. <laughs> fucking running, ah! dickhead. Stop fucking running. Right. Have you searched him yet? Section 54. Yeah, I searched him under section 74. Oh. 54, yeah? Yeah, same one. thing to me on some oh, Cool. So now we can take him off handcuffs. Fucking boogie bomb does. Oh, right. thank you. There you go. And they're gonna take him through and get his um, fingerprint taken and picture taken, yeah? Yeah. Right, cool. Cool, right, follow us. Yeah, you put that away. Right. So you bring him up to here. Wait till he's in the fucking the cells. Scanner, Wait till he's you, um, in the cells. Third IM and take his fingerprint. Just put your finger on there for me, please, mate. No worries, thank you very much. Ooh, could have washed your hand before you came here, couldn't you? Covered in shit. No, shut up. Excuse me? He does Nothing. have a on him. Okay, it's come up with uh, add to database and evidence report number one and two. So that okay, means, so, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so that means that I don't believe he's been arrested before, so we need to get his name. Okay, can I have your name, mate? Oh, Adam Sander. Okay, no worries. If he's gonna be, if he's gonna play smartly, I'll what? take matters into my own hand. What's your name, yeah, mate? Take him, take, take him into the cell. I'm sure he'll, he'll be appreciative of that. Yeah. Come on, dickhead. You gotta play smart with me. Let's fucking play smart together, shall we? Keep walking. Come on. No, I don't like this one. Oh, you don't like that cell, do you? Not just back off, Mash. Fucking like that cell. Get in the fucking cell, dickhead. When I tell you to get in the fucking cell, you get in the fucking cell. Now I'm gonna ask you again, what's your fucking cell, name, mate? Adam, 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 Adam. Right, uh, that's can enough. I have of... medical, please. No, you yeah, can't you have can, medical. We can get you some medical. Don't worry. If you if you think about looking at him, um, you'll be able to search his pockets see if he's got any ID on him. No, I do not. Oh, do you not? No. Can you do a check, Stephen? So I just make sure he's got. I just make sure that he's not got any ID on him. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. He's got a bank card on him and a phone on him and a skateboard. Does the bank card say what his name is on it? Not too sure, but I'll give it to you, Tom, to see if you can see it. Yeah. No really. Never mind. I can't because I don't own the item. Interesting. Yeah, go on. Perfect, there we are. So it, I, I think I can see it saying Ali Reza. Ali Reza. Mm, yes. No worries, Ali, follow me, mate. If you want to, at this Cheers, point, if you. you want to put him into one of the, uh, actually, no, yeah, you're right. Take him to, you're doing right, sorry. I'll leave you to it. No Get worries. his fingerprint and put an Ali in there, sorry. One step ahead of you. See what Fuck I mean? you now. Who's he arrested over there? Yeah, yeah, Stam is a big Dutch man. Get past him if you fucking can. What a player, man. What a shame he's in prison, though. Right then. Shall we get your photo done, mate? Yes. Right on there, for me, please. Stand there. Thank you.
So if you go into the MDT, yeah, and stand stands a little bit in line with him, so you can see him, and then um, go to the citizens and look at Ali Reza. Can you turn around, please, mate? Okay, what would you like me to do on the MDT? Sorry. Go into citizens. Yeah. And then uh, type in Ali Reza. Yeah. And then if you click on left click onto his um, picture. I'll let you through now. And it'll yep. give you, uh, so you can look at him. So if you're Ali, can you face the officer, please? And then take a picture with your MDT. Okay, my good side, please. You should be able to left click onto it. And that'll take a picture. See, I am clicking on the camera's button, but I don't feel it taking a photo. Um, let me have a look. Uh, maybe try your face or your enter, if not. No, not doing either. Okay, no problem. I've done that for you then. That's fine. Okay, cool. Now we know that... Now, how, 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 how do I put the camera down? Oh, I'm seeing three walls here. I've took the camera. To, I've picked the wrong camera up, Hunter. I'm in the cells. I'm in the cells. I've picked the wrong no, camera not, up. With us. It's fine. It's fine. It's I'm fine. panicking okay, now. No, I'm panicking. Let me just do this a second. No, because I'm chronic asthmatic. Yeah, I'm claustrophobic, yeah, let me, uh, Darren. Let's got you out here. I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> I'm claustrophobic, Darren. Open your eye. Got nothing to do with it. I'm yeah, in the other cell the now. Sunlight, okay. No, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. You're panicking. No, I'm asthmatic. You see, I'm asthmatic. It's fine. You're not in a uh, confined space here. You should be okay. But it looks like right, I am. You... Shitting out. Right, is that any better? No. It's like I'm still looking through my camera. What the fuck? I see Michael Smith, right. bully boy. Michael, Michael, I love you nine data. Bully boy! I would like to, um... Michael Smith. Can... Should I take... I've got the camera in my hand. I can't see anything. Um, can someone help me? Can you get me carer? Should I take a nap? Uh, yeah, Miss Sun, I'd take a nap and come back. I think I'd uh, like to go to the uh, locker room if that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. We'll meet you down there. Thank you. No problem. I'm not sure why I keep wearing these clothes because they're fucking hanging. Yeah. Absolutely hanging these clothes. Right, so we try that again, shall we? Oh. I'm on bail, mate. You can see my bail conditions, and I'm due. Mate, you keep knocking that door, I'm gonna come out and smash your fucking head in. Who's he talking to? That cunt out there. You, oh. Mate. You're right here, Larry. I just need some assistance. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Gordon's arrested. Who said Gov. that? Uh, Ginger you. officer, go out there and beat the cunt out of him, will you? Yeah, don't take orders from you, mate, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm, bitch. Yeah, go on, fuck off then. Doing nothing but get. <clears throat> well, I, I'll, drop, I'll link the playlist in a minute. Excavation map playlist chat. Excavation map playlist. For the prison that you've got uh, arrested, you kind of know it's PPCs. Perfect, Miss Sunlight. You okay? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. Uh, I'm not sure you what happened. You handed your prison to the PPCs. Don't know, my, I think I got a massive headache. Yeah, no, that's okay. So we're now at the point of obviously he's in custody. So you grab your MDT open. Sexy, Excuse me? Grab your MDT open. Yeah. And go to incidents. Yeah. And you should see the template that you may have been emailed. And then you can just throw that on the right hand side. Now, these, uh, we're trying to make it as easy as possible for people and literally filling in the blanks. All we're looking for with the incident reports is essentially as little as much information as you want to put. All I say is if it was to ever go to court and there's not enough evidence, then obviously that you would be the person obviously trying to say the evidence. So with regards to us, I would be looking for a simple Mini Cooper, failed to stop from us, went on a pursuit, eventually decamped at the, uh, on the freeway. We took chase and we arrested him. Oh, then okay. So you can turn around and say the person, you can add the person in. Just as little information as needed as possible, but as long as it's obviously 
substantial enough if it was to go to court. You happy with that? Yeah, I just found it up as we speak. Perfect. What do I put as the, the uh, name? His name? Yes. yes. And what, would his, what was his name again? His name was Ali Raza. It should pop up there. That's his name. Or Reza, sorry. R-E-Z-A. No, there's nothing popping up. Uh, in Citizens Involved, Ali Reza. Oh, okay, there. And then you just click him. Yeah. And then in Cops Involved, you'd click yourself. Okay, this is a lot easier than I thought it was, to be fair. Yeah. Once you've done that, then you can go to, once you've filled out the description with the little template, then go down to charges at the bottom. Yeah. And uh, type in fail. And it should come up with a fail to stop the police. Click that. Yeah. And now, if you uh, come out of your MDP, because you're now ready. Do I create the incident? No, 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 not just yet. Not just okay. Yet. So you now need to go grab the uh, fella from the cells. No and worries. To the desk here and tell him his charges and his time, and then you can send him off. Fuck that. You okay, mate? Are you having a shit there, are you? No. Good. Uh, you okay? You just come with me, please. Thank you. Yeah. Good news is, sir, that you're gonna be heading off soon. All right. So there's no okay. much. There's not much more uh, waiting around. Okay. Can you please stand there for me again? Brilliant. Perfect. Right now, uh, once you're up there, just explain to him why he's here, what he's been arrested for, and what he'll be charged with. Okay, so you're gonna be charged. Uh, you've been arrested for dangerous driving and failure to stop for the police. You're gonna be sentenced to however months I want, really, to my discretion. Uh, you've been quite compliant, to be honest. I won't be a dickhead. Um, so a sentence is looking at 45 months. You've been here a while. I'll take that into account. So you're actually gonna be serving two months, sir. Uh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. So, how do you plead for that? Okay. Oh shit. Go. That's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, pleading guilty would be amazing, but. We got the evidence that we needed, so essentially a basic arrest that we would be looking to, for you to achieve. Okay. Was that was that good enough? It's piece of piss, that to be honest. I don't know how Marshall and Tom and already he's fucking shit in it. But yeah, no, it's easy that mate. Perfect. That's essentially it. as uh, if they call a lawyer down. You've done everything in your um, police yeah. powers to tell him what he's arrested for, searched him under the correct section, told him his custody rights, and you've sent him off. Happy days. I'm happy with that. Perfect. And uh, that's what we look to achieve. And if you want to go over and above, above or do whatever you want to do included on top of that, then I, I'm happy. Okay, no worries. That's basis. fine. That's all we're looking for. No worries. Uh, I'm more than happy to confident to uh, roll out on my own uh, now, Fantastic. to be honest. The, the last uh, answer that I had for you was the comms. You mentioned the comms. Yeah, no, no, I can now, do the comms. It's just more the fact of what do I call out. Okay, so essentially you call your call sign, say you've got a fail to stop. And then when you're calling out the comms, all we're looking for really is landmarks. landmarks. in the street of the name. So if, not necessarily street of the name if you don't want to. As long as we know that you're heading towards Red Garage or you're heading towards the pier, yeah. we can sort of make a way towards it. And then um, obviously officers can make way. We're looking for precise radio comms. Yeah. At the moment, it's a pile of shit, to be honest. Okay, no worries, perfect. Um, but yeah, just enjoy yourself. And I'm, I'm really happy with that. I'm happy if you are um, with that performance to keep you as the PC and then... Um, yeah monitor you from there no i appreciate that a lot thank you very much um, no problem sergeant sandler going back on duty see you soon fucking hell yeah karen all right mate oh sorry love i thought you were sorry i thought it was someone else sorry <laughs> harry cheer for the raid mate i hope you had a good stream brother thank you very much mate duty cheer for the six mikey cheer for the six uh, Smalley man, cheer with the two. Castro is back, cheer with the 11, mate. I'm very, very good, mate. How are you? I hope you're doing well, mate. New uniform? No, I like this because I got the hat. I prefer this because of the hat. Ooh. Is this your vehicle, is it? What did you say, mate? Is this your vehicle, is it? Yeah. Yeah.
Thank you. Go with Marshall. Alright, well, like, fucking hang on. I just go back to the radio. There's a guy. Marshall, are you receiving? Yes, mate. Are you coming on patrol or not? Uh, can do. Oh, can point. do or will do. Oh, I will do. Okay, yeah, I'll be outside the PD. Okay. Oling with the tier oh, three. Oh, 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 my fucking go, exactly. Oling. What a fucking legend. Thank you very, very much for the eight months. What a fucking legend. I appreciate that, Oling. God, I love you. What a what a fucking man. Thank you very much, Oling. I hope you're doing well as well, mate. Oh, what is going on here then? Oh, in my head. A zombie, uh, a zombie. Solo, is there anyone available for a ride along? Oh, you want my, the playlist song? Yeah, it's this one. Well, mate, thank you, Penguin. How did you, you find onto the key top? In the car, mate. Don't fucking turn yeah. the radio down. I wish you could fucking turn it off. Yeah, I can help you. Sometimes. Tell you again. I can help you. How can you help me? Yeah. Nothing. I'm right. I just feel like I'm more qualified than you now to be honest with you, Marshall. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you show me what an a? Uh, can you show me? Don't listen, 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 listen. Just because you read books don't mean you're a good copper, mate. It's like watching football. Oh. We can all look at stats. I watch football with my eyes, mate. Oh, okay, fair enough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so what would you like to know? What would I like to know? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, okay. What would you how like would you to think? know? Nothing I'd like to know how you... I'd like to see you drive for once, actually. No problem. Is that actually a little Love that. Harrison, cheer for the tea, mate. Right, I'm just going to go in my head a minute, okay? Go on, mate. Dickhead. Let me go get a drink, chap. I'll put a... Oh, I won't put a tune on, actually. Hello, Salim. How you doing? We've received your ping, Larry. I'm gonna make my way to you. Right now? Uh, quite a lot. How much is quite a lot? Give me a specific uh, number, man. About mate. fifteen or so, sixteen. Woo! What is your ranking again? What is my rank? Yeah. Assistant Commissioner. Yeah. So you know, let's say hypothetically, theoretically. Hypothetically, oh, theoretically, no. hypothetically, yeah. theoretically. Hey, so open the front door, uh, your name is stood there. cousin. Yeah. Oh, so annoying. You know, would there to be, you know. Oh, for why can I hear so Yes. I do. I th they said to me that blacklisted. Sorry? Oh, okay. Yeah, they said blacklisted, so. What listed, sorry? 
So, um. <laughs> yeah, Marshall. Yeah, um, give me one second. Let's speak to the other gold commander and see what we can do, yeah? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. What did he say about um, Salim there, sorry? No, Salim said that he's blacklisted from PD. Uh, and who told him that? Oh, I have no idea. I'm about to find out now. That is... Listen, I don't want to accuse, but it sounds like blatant racism. Would they have said that to someone like... I don't know. Chris Uda Uchmach. Actually, yeah, they might have done, actually. What about... Somebody like Paul Skinback. Paul Skinback? Yeah. Wouldn't have said it to him, would they? Mental. Is, what's he doing? Fucking disgrace. Oh, you alright? You alright, mate? New judge in town. New judge? Yep. Oh. Try to step out the vehicle for me, mate. Just pull it over. More than happy. Thank you. Right, so do you have any reasons why I've stopped you today? Any reason why your taste is withdrawn? Uh, yes, correct, sir. Because I feel as though it should be. I'm feeling very threatened at this minute in time. Very threatened, okay. Uh, so the reason I've stopped you, sir. Right, Adam, Adam, they're going to kick you when they come back. Be careful. Yeah, oh, are they? Thank you very much. Do you do? Ah! Okay, you're free to go now, oh. sir. We've got something to deal with. Adam, get the call. You okay, mate? Um, that vehicle and driver is wanted for arson and blowing up five cars. You okay, mate? Hey, I'm going to be placing you in cuffs now under the suspicion of attempted murder of a police officer, sir, okay? Let's, let's bring him to the side and question quickly. Come over here. You're going to be... You're going to well, talk, mate? Because, listen, you came past once here and tried kicking Adam. So why did you loop again? Yo, it was the other guy, not me, bro. Mmm. I didn't do shit. Did you not? No. Okay, I'm going to be searching under uh, grounds of th uh, section 32. Do you understand that? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, go on. Yeah. Anything on you that's going to hurt po Polk and scratch me? No, sir. Good. Fuck all on him. I'll let you off for this one, mate. Try to kick me again off a motorbike and see what fucking happens, you dickhead. Appreciate it, officer. No, no, don't, don't. Get in quick, Marshall, quick. Edward, chair of the primer, mate. Did you see what happened, mate? No, what happened? I tased him off the vehicle, I tased him off the bike. Yeah. And then the local ran him over. <laughs> I'm having uh, quite a bad head issue, mate. You might have to drive in a minute. No, oh, are ya? It's alright now, but it's playing up a little bit. No, oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Glad you're okay though, like I was like messaged before. Oh, mum's message, mate. What's this? <laughs> oh, what a melf. Anyway. Love it. Uh, what was that say, chat? Fuck yeah, it's cold. It's drinking, sir. I want to marry you. Oh, one minute. <laughs> what are you doing? No! Adam, don't. What? So, what are you doing? You just oh, you're with this gobshite again. Actually, um, Adam. Oh, yeah, guys. Okay. Adam. Yeah. Oh, Adam, put the things on me. Oh, Can I meet my wife? Do I want to meet your wife? Like, no, yeah, like, I'm actually being deadly serious. Actually, that's my wife. You're 22. Oh, missus. Sorry? You're 22. Do you want to meet her? I feel like, you know what? I appreciate you a lot. I feel like you meet her. would be very good. Yeah, go oh, on Adam, then. Stop fucking, what are you doing? Stop. Oh, go on, time, go on. Drive. 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 Fucking drive. <laughs> drive the fucking car. Third time's a charm, dickhead. Have that one, Tosser. Right, let's give him a phone call, see what, see what she's doing. What's her name? Her name's Emily. Fucking, I bet she's funny in bed. <laughs> Fucking hell, could you, get a, you? could you get a more vanilla name? Fucking hell. Can you, where's the water park? 
Can you come to Where's uh, the water Frozen park? Cock? Give me five minutes, I'll show her. <laughs> oh, I'll let you convince that one. <clears throat> right, well, if it, if it's, how long is it going to take you? Is it out of control? I told you five minutes. <laughs> okay, you're going in. Good fun. Hey, boy. Uh, excuse me. You alright? At the wall park, mate. Well, alright, whereabouts is that? On uh, on the island. A separate island. <laughs> Sorry, she's on an island. A, a water oh. park where kids go. I think I've heard of that island, actually. Is it the same one Stephen Hawking went to? <laughs> what does it start with? I, I don't know, to be honest, but I know what it finishes with. No, we'll get another thing. Alright, oh, just I'm pull over and I'll drive, mate. You had to do me, didn't <laughs> Fucking hell, more zigzags than a fucking <laughs> lightning bolt. In switch seats, dickhead. fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Out the vehicle, sir. Thank you. Oh, Marshall is cute, bless him. Do I actually need to try? Need to practice this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought it would land there. I think I wanted that. I don't think I wanted that to be honest, but I've got it. Nailed it! Oh, I get a good feeling. At the top. What's that, sorry? You're going to the big ramp at the top. Yeah, uh, yeah. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking again? London. That's a shame. You, you asked me yesterday. I know, I just couldn't remember, yeah. Oh, the car is fucked, mate. We won't be in a minute when I land this. It's all right. I'll land it. I'll land it. Don't worry. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Damo, cheer the prime, mate. Do you know what? I fancy just pulling these over and go. Oh. Excuse me. You're not going to impound the vehicle. I was going to, but it's fine. No witnesses. Oh, wall there. Marshall, has anyone ever told you that you're, you've got a, quite a cute laugh? Oh, what? Shush! <laughs> a cute laugh. What did you say? I said a cute yeah, laugh. No, no one's ever said that before, no. No. Well, you do. I appreciate it, thank you. Impound this cat park here. Uh, so if you wait till Captain Bass there, we can just storm that closing, so. Just leave that leave the unit ahead of me. I am. Oh, wait, so you're going. W, Riz. I can, I, I can drop more Riz if you want. Oh, I'm always driving, though. No. Yep, Do you want me to drop more Riz? I, I don't mind, it's easier. Which one was it, Finn? Raise him up, Norris. Have you ever been to uh, Manchester, Marsh? Never been, no. Would you want to go? I would like to. Yeah. What's it like up there? Well, when I used to live there, it was unbelievable. Absolutely unreal. It was fucking, absolute fucking turd burglar. How about one? <laughs> Calm down to 
Stop, no, no, don't, 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 don't. Can drive him like that like a fucking idiot. Watch it, he's gonna come around his car and I'll see you later. What a surprise, it's Salim. Salim? No! Oh shit. Are you okay, sir? Uh, nah, 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 I'm no, setting that up. Nah, I'm playing about this one. Pardon? I'm setting it up. What is it you setting up, sorry? Yep, 199, okay, no problem. I got hype on the female, I'm going for it. <laughs> I don't know, I won't set it up, I won't set it up. I won't set it up. Adam, Adam. Yeah? No, no, no. No, don't, don't, don't. That's oh, that's that one. Him. Take him out of cost. Whatever. Fucking drive stupidly like that again. Did you understand? I will break your nose. You know that big Dorito on your face? What have you got on your face then? Uh, say, Adam, Adam, say, say sorry to him. Adam, that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you, should, you should run away for quite bad. I can't lie to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put it nice to me. Um, what's your Adam. name, sorry, sir? Uh, Salim, Salim Udal. Salim. S is for Salim, A is for orangutan, L is for lion, E is for orangutan, E is for orangutan, M is for me, W is for Windar, I is for idiot, N is for no, D is for these nuts, A is for orangutan, R is for orangutan. Officer, can I ask you a very quick question, Mr. Adam? Yeah, of course you can, mate. Have you been to room 40? Pardon? Have you been to room 40? Room 40? Yeah. No, what is that? Room 40, these nuts in your mouth. And you wonder why I run him over. What happened to him? Wait, 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 what? Shush! Wait, I, I can't lie to you, I am very confused. Have you ever been to room 40? No. No, uh, what's room 40? Room 40 is nuts in your mouth. <laughs> He got me good, he got me good. First so where, where did he go? Like where did he go? Yeah. He, um, I think he, I think he's, um, takeaway arrived. What, for that? I don't know, I don't know where he went, I'll be honest. But I just know he'd, um, all of a sudden disappeared. What the hell? What, can Salim not order takeaways, can he not? <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? Missed. <laughs> you got a jump, you got a spider. The <laughs> fuck, you're going everywhere. Don't let me fucking tackle. <laughs> Dodged! And again, dodged! I've got a suspect <laughs> violent and aggressive in the car park! Violent and aggressive! Fuck oh, off! Oh, Mayday! <laughs> Please, car park, I've got him now, he's cuffed. Help me, help me, help me. He's cuffed, he's cuffed. <clears throat> no chat, believe it or not, I actually had a shit then. Yes, believe it or not, I did a human shit. Why is there an officer in cuffs here then? Riley, cheer the primer, mate. Inbred twat, cheer for the six, mate. Oh, fella, cheer the primer. Billy the kid, cheer for the 11, mate. Luca, cheer for the three. Vault for the 25 with that. And Alex, cheer for the tier one, mate. My fucking go, brother. Thank you. Proof, that is disgusting. Yeah, we do need a sorry, mate. Good shout. You talking to me, mate? How can I help you? So I thought you fucking shit house prick. Did you not get a new car for PC? What do you mean? Oh, good question actually. I don't think I do though, to be honest. Tammy, is you over the tier one, brother? Welcome in, mate. How are you doing well, man? Thank you for the tier one, mate. And Mitchell, you the $1. Can I get a happy birthday? Absolutely, Mitchell. Exclamation mark cameo, my friend. I can get it you right there and then, mate.
Thank you very much. A lot more than a quid, though. Thank you very much. That was great. Happy birthday, Mitch, mate. Oh, actually, I had someone message me the other day that I need to go back on Cameo, apparently. Apparently, I've had a lot of people request to book me. I'm going to turn it on. What should I price it at? Should I go 150 quid, see if anyone buys it? I'm back, I'm back on Cameo now. I'm back on Cameo. There you go. You want to book one, now you can book one. Thank you. Uh, if you don't want to book one, don't book one. Thank you. Oh, you right, Marshall? You've got to jump in, mate. Taking these shit cars out. Who's he talking to? Because it can't be me like that. I know that for a fact. Who? You. No, get, get in the big boy car over here, the fast one that you can actually drive. I don't fucking have that, mate. I've only got this. Well, go on, hop in the driver's seat. Can you drive? <laughs> fucking cheeky bastard. Oh, I've got volume. There you go. What? Traffic stops. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Oh my. Right, go, go Frozen Cup. Excuse me? Go to Frozen Cup. Go to Frozen Cup? Yeah. Where's that? Uh, right, right, take it right here. Yep. Right here. You see, I haven't. You did the piss. This is where the wife. Behind us, behind us, we're past <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. Tell me then! Go Make a good straight. fucking sat nav, would ya? Go straight, stop here, stop here. There you go, on the right here, frozen cop. This is where the missus works, she'll be here soon. <laughs> oh, your missus, fucking hell. Say hello to her, mate. Who gives a shit about your missus? Did you just come, cheer the gift in, mate, thank you. Tell me, cheer the tier one, mate. Drug sale, that's more like it. Oh, guess what? Shush! <laughs> he understands the game. He understands the game. You do realise I'm about 15 nil up on you. Yeah, I thought I could um, hit you there, to be fair. You're, yeah, and you fucked it up for yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Is anyone looking suspicious? No, not really. Who do you support, Marshall? Uh, West Ham, through family. Wait, wait, she's at Frozen Cup now, so oh. let me just drove off. Oh. Excuse me, love you to pull over to the sidewalk, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much, love. Uh, it's going to be Adam Sandler. I'm going to be uh, responding to a drug trafficking situation. Hello? You okay, love? What's your name? Uh, my name's L. Or some people call me Ellie. L or Ellie, no worries. Do you understand why we spoke we stopped you today and speaking to you? Um, probably because I was in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the road, love. And what it looked like to me was he actually trying to rob a car. Um, but what the reason actually was is that we've actually had reports of a drug distribution taking place at this part of the city. Would you not happen to know anything about it? No, no. I'm not involved with drugs. No. Well, that's bullshit because you, you got about 40,000 when you got that arse in Brazil. Um, <laughs> so, if you don't mind, love, I'm going to ask you to put your arms in the air so I can give you a pat down. Yeah, sure. No worries, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you're right. Just giving her a pat now. You've got a lock pick on your love. What is it you using that for? Um, to be honest, that I uh, sometimes look through the bins a bit and it's just in the bins, so. Oh, right. I've not actually used it for anything. No worries, then. Love you if you were. Uh... 
Yeah, Scruffy could have just told us. All right, you have a great day, love. Thank you. Okay, bye. What a fucking monster. Right, let's um, let's loop the frozen cup. Fuck, I you need really want to meet your missus, don't you? No, no, I need to get some drinks as well, to be fair. Put your, put your oh. belt on. I can't, I can't right now. <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you 20 quid if you take your belt off. 20? Yeah. Right, it's off. Oh, it isn't, I would have heard it on click, you dickhead. Oh, let's hope no one smashes air off the car. Oh, shit. Oh, what are you doing? Right. Sorry, sorry, it's a new car, it's a new car, sorry, sorry, I'm a bit heavy on the gas. Yeah, hey, look at the engine, mate, it's smoking, fella. I know, so it's all right, I can pay for a repair, mate. Are you taking the Nah, you're all right, you ain't got a power. I'm extremely I'm sorry, I'm extremely sorry. Honestly, I didn't mean to. You just knocked me off that car. Yeah. No, I know, I'm sorry. Hey, you'd rather me knock okay, you off than rather I'll knock you up, love. I need Come some on. food and drink. You need some food and drink. Can I get ten of each? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it's going, mate, I'll have to, uh, 20 of each if that's all right. No worries, does she want to rest in or? <laughs> I don't think so. Have a look at the menu, look, go up to the menu here. Uh, I appreciate night. you telling me to look at the menu, you told me to go I'm up to the menu. I'm probably going to need some compensation for that, Marshall. Oh, are you? Yeah. I've got a thing over to me, actually, for all you love. Go and fucking swivel, swivel on it. Fucking compensation. Who do you think I am? Fucking underdog. Piss off. Marshall, where the hell do you pick this fella up? He's well angry. No, he's not. Hey, Fuck the race. Right. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Basic you, bitch. Are you pissed him off today, Marshall? M's choice. It? Who's M? Oh, <laughs> Your M. It's not really. M. It's not really your choice, though, is it? It is because I chose it. Right, but every single time it's going to be milk chocolate chip. So you might as well just rename it to milk chocolate chip. It's actually mint. Mint chocolate chip. Then you might just rename it to that. Well, no, because it's my choice. But I no, yeah, but it's not. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's, it, it loses the value of becoming your choice because it's no matter what, what day it is or what time it is, it's always gonna be mint chocolate. Because that will always be my choice. Yeah, but yeah, but my point is, I mean, if you want to spice it up a little bit, you want to change the menu a bit, don't you? Yeah. All right. I'll give you that. Do you want an ice cream put on there? A pinky now? promise. Strawberry shortcake, not midnight snack, a brownie batter. What's a brownie batter? Like, you know, like when you make brownie and like before you cook it, it tastes like that. Rummy mummy? Yeah. Rum raisin, what's a rum raisin? Like, it's got rum in it, it's got raisins in it. So you're actually selling alcohol in the products? Well, no, it's not actual alcohol. Well, is rum alcohol or not? Yeah, but it's a rum cake. Well, that needs to be clarified on the menu. Because what if I wasn't aware of that and I've just drunk and I've just eaten 14 brownies and, it, and now I'm actually over the limit to drive and I'm on patrol? Yeah, but it wouldn't actually work because the way that it's made, it loses its actual, um, what's it we call it? I don't know, love, you're the chef. I'm not a chef. What are you then? You don't cook ice cream, but anyway. Oh, what do you, how do you make it then? You don't cook it, do you? How do you make it then? It's basically what you do, yeah. You get. And it was a bat. It was a browner. Nothing. Nothing to do with ice cream. What? Sad. Shush. Sad girl hours. Chocolate chip cooker. Why sad girl hours? Because when you're sad, you eat. Do men? Do men not get sad? Do they not? Well, I mean, is a is a girl own business? Sorry. Is a girl's owned a business? It's a girl own. It's a girl's own business, is it? Owned. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Zach's okay. snow cone. Is that a euphemism? What do you mean by that? That's a big question. Who is Zach and what does his snow cone look like? Uh, Zach works here. Right. Um, and his snow cone is multicoloured. And is in a but it is. cone thing. Sorry? And is it like a cone? Right. Or a logo on it. Can I have a peanut butter and banana, but without the without the peanuts, please? Because I'm just I'm allergic. Well, obviously not. Sorry. Obviously not. What do you mean, obviously not? Well, obviously not. It's gonna be very dry. Right, but I'd like, but well, I'd like it, please. Actually, can oh. I place an order? Go on. 
Can I please have 10 Biscoff milkshakes? Yeah. Oh, no, can I have 20 Biscoff milkshakes? Yeah. Um, and can I have 20 Girly Pops, please? Thank you very much. And can you throw in a, ba a basic bitch? Yeah, of course. Nice one. Yeah, actually, no, sorry, your friend outside will do. Uh, Mac, do you have the tier one, mate? Ginger's Cup, do you have the gift it again, man? Oh, you know what's going on here, then? Mate, people have been DMing me on Cameo and I've not even been on it for about... Mate, when was the last time I was on Cameo? Jane, about four months. Easy four months. Oh, there you go. Now I'm back on Cameo. Mad. Oh my God, I've been banned.